This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is business partner customizing. Okay, so basically here we will be covering the vendor customizing. Basically, business partner is from a website. It is nothing but vendor vendor customizing we will cover. Okay, so the topics that we are going to cover they are we will see how to define BP rules and their settings okay and then define BP grouping how the BP grouping business partner grouping is done we will see that define vendor account group how to define the vendor account group we will see and then BP grouping and vendor account group mapping we will cover this also both how the our business partner grouping and vendor account grouping is mapped we will see define field settings field selection basically we will see and uh, setting partner rules and partner determination so basically uh, in today's session we will be covering the customizing part in the in the normal session we have seen the front end part like how to create the business partner how to maintain the rules all those things we have covered in this session we will be concentrating on the customizing okay so uh, this is the introduction to business partner uh, we have covered this already the master data the master data of suppliers and customers is managed in sap s4 hana by using business partner master data this we have covered already in our regular session okay so in ecc in old version in ecc uh, you do, you might be doing this In ECC older version, we used to create vendors directly. Vendors using XK01 and XK02 and XK03 is a display. But in S4 HANA, now they have come up with a, a new transaction for this, like BP. It is for all everything creation, change, display, everything, single transaction. Okay. So let me let me go to the system once so suppose let's say in s4 hana uh, in in s4 hana suppose let's say if you enter xk01 moment you enter xk01 it will take you to the business part you see redirecting to transaction bp as transaction xk01 is obsolete so now it will take you to the bp suppose let's say the business partner created as if i select organization and if i click on continue it will take you to the bp transaction it will take you to the bp transaction okay or another method is you directly just directly go to transaction bp business partner it's of this we have covered already actually okay uh, by using this approach by using this approach it is possible to centrally maintain the master data for suppliers and customers so basically not only in purchasing in sales also they will use the same transaction BP. That, that's what it is saying business partner master data can be maintained with the transaction BP, the one which i showed you just now or by using the corresponding app from the fiery launchpad this is from the fiery okay Business partners can be categorized as a person, group, or organization. Okay, so the three categories here. You can see here. You go to the transaction, you see here three categories: person, organization, and group. Okay, so this is how the structure is built up. Suppose if I go here, this is the one. The categories are three categories we have: person, organization, and group. So if you try to recollect our uh, regular sessions we created business partner using the category organization okay so business partner is a single transaction used to create the suppliers vendors in the purchasing in mm and also the same transaction is used in the sales in the sd for the customer creation same rules. now they have uh, uh, made it a single transaction actually okay so now we will start with the uh, bp rules okay so if you see here if you see this picture you will understand so first when you create a uh, 
business partner there will be a category first thing category i showed you just now these are the category these are the three categories okay after that you have business partner grouping grouping i will come to this grouping uh, a later point of time what is this grouping why it is used we will discuss so now we are discussing about the roles roles business partner okay so here the role can be supplier and fi vendor and there is a role for general data the, we have discussed all these things okay so supplier role you maintain the data for the purchasing organization you maintain purchasing data valid for the purchasing organization and for the bp role fi vendor you maintain the data for the company code which is nothing but accounting data and you maintain the general data this we have discussed already actually okay so the business partner role the business partner role corresponds to a business context in which a business partner can appear okay so what is the role of that particular business partner in the organization possible roles are for example supplier and fi vendor for, for our purchasing for our relevant for procurement processes or customer and fi customer for sales processes this is nasty so we used these three sales standard sap roles for purchasing one is business partner data for the data on client level then fi vendor data at the company code level accounting data and the supplier for the data on the purchase organization this is for the purchasing organization okay so let me put the rules over here the rules are six zeros this is one row this is at maintained at client level general data client level okay next rule is flv 00 flv n 00 FLV N00. This is FI vendor. FI vendor. FI vendor. And this this is not this is maintained at company code level. Company code level. level. And the next one is the last one is these are the standard SAP rules. I huh? will show you how to create all these rules in a minute. next rule is this is header purchasing organization level you maintain the data purchasing work level work level okay, so these are the three rules we have covered actually so now i will show you where these roles are actually created okay so this is the path this is the configuration path where these roles are defined actually okay so now let's go to the configuration what i will do I will keep this session open let me go to spr okay so before that let me open one more session so when we are creating bp again, again let me go to bp and when i click on organization so now here you have the roles right we are talking about these roles these roles so from where these roles are coming okay so that roles are coming from here let me go to configuration go to sap reference img okay go to cross application components okay here you have sap business partner open this here business partner okay go to basic settings okay here business partner roles open this here define bp roles so if you go here see you have the roles here all the roles here see here all the roles so the roles which we for our uh, purchasing ones relevant ones if you click on position this is the one role it is already available in, in the in the beginning it is already available at the beginning six roles general role now this one If I went put it over here. These are the rules. Okay. So now you select the rule, just go to details. You can see the information here. So this.